Welcome back to the Good Boys Podcast. We're uh, we're joined by two guests, two of Brett's girlfriends. Ooh, daddy. Brett Robinson's girlfriends. Hey. All right. Hey. hey. Welcome uh, back to the Good Boys Podcast. What the f*** is up, you two? What the f*** is up, you two? Oh. We have Maria. We have Jalissa and Marina. Woo! Yeah. But they're known as Melissa. Melissa. Do we actually have to talk in these all time? Yeah. You, you is this the only way you can hear? I feel like a roll star. We turned your mic off, by the way. <laughs> I wish I did like a like a sound check to see <laughs> like how close I am to me to this you're, thing. No, like, your levels know. are good. Your levels. Dude, how do you know? You can hear. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> they're, they're fine. What have you guys been up to? Uh, <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> Not drinking as much or any less. Mm. I was so nervous to come on here, so I like I had a couple drinks before. It's okay. Thank God, and that's that's definitely not alcohol. In the coffee mug. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely coffee. Let's preface this though that like we're all best friends. Yeah. Yes. Like, and we've been hanging pretty much nonstop for the like last couple months. months. <laughs> yeah, we're together a lot. Yeah, yeah we have sleepovers and stuff. Yeah. It gets to the point where it's weird, though, where it's like when like three days go by and we don't see each other, like someone's like, are you guys mad is at me? It's like, <laughs> no, we have a okay? Are you mad at like what I said? In the group chat. <laughs> Yo, are you mad about the thing I said for one second? You guys have a group chat? Fuck. Oh, you're not in it? I don't think so. Do you guys, do you guys get separation anxiety? Yeah. Brett does. I do. I have specific people that I can... Uh, get separation anxiety from Name okay them. from who uh Alyssa, danielle and carolina <laughs> yeah like really bad <laughs> i get it from you oh, 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 oh and, um, and you guys too no um yeah no it's yeah cool. no, i get so sad when i don't see you guys it's like the worst <laughs> there was one night we almost made out and then you ended up making out with joe wagner that night oh no <laughs> you know what this is the biggest debate this is the biggest okay debate. let's answer this because if you don't put your tongues <laughs> in each other's mouths is that a make out no. Uh, no, I don't think it is. Know. How long were your lips touching? Then yes, at the it was end of the night, too, we literally low. all ran into a car after that too. What? Like it was at the end of the night. I remember like it happened, and then we all like ran outside. We all got in a car and like left. So it was like a very like it was like a goodbye. It was a very quick goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> what was we doing? <laughs> was there a hello? And there was no hello. Just a goodbye. I think I literally said I was like, no, this was at the apartment upstairs. I remember it was like it was like a nice to meet you. But oh. no, it wasn't. <laughs> Cause if it was like, if it was, then I would ca- I would count it as a makeout, but this it wasn't. Was like four it was so not a makeout. No longer. I think that's fair. And you know who's on my side? No one. Who's <laughs> 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 on your side, Brad? I have a couple. No, actually, no. He he argues that. It was Danielle also argues. I, actually, I've got a lot of people against me. But <laughs> everyone who was there says it was I'm a makeout. Stand, I'm standing. I'm standing my ground because that's fucked up. It's that's okay. Fine. If you don't tongue, it's not a makeout. It's a kiss. What if he tongue in the butt? <laughs> that's a makeout. <laughs> that's a makeout. It's it's a make-out. was a makeout. <laughs> yeah. Then you have monkey pox. Oh. <laughs> yeah. For all of your summer travels, whether you're going abroad or staying domestic and want to immerse yourself in the culture, now is the perfect time to start Babbel. Folks, I am headed to Paris, France very, very soon. And yes, they do speak French. Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, there's still time to learn a new language before you reach your destination. I've started my journey of learning French through Babbel. Je m'appelle Todd. See? I'm what the French call les compétents. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash goodboys. That's babbel.com slash goodboys, G-O-O-D-B-O-Y-S, for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Jimmy Pell Todd. So how long have you guys been partying for? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we're fine. Our whole Wait, life. No, guys. We all partied so together this weekend. Todd. We had fun. No, I know. I'm not. <laughs> no, we're such. We are models. I asked Todd too. before we started this. I'm like, dude, don't ask any like anxiety driven questions. He's like, so how long have you been fendering? <laughs> Do we all went My to whole a, life. Uh, <laughs> we went to a, a, a movie in a in Compton. We went to oh a yeah, drive-in. and drive in. Uh, it was really, it was really cute. It was wholesome. Yeah, we were like lying on our roof. 
Oh, I didn't get the hand right. car. It was cute. I stayed on the roof. Nobody else. Everybody would like swap off. Well, when you sat there, you couldn't hear the movie up there. Would you, you watch? Were so mad. He was no, like you opening could. up no, you all could. the car doors. I watched it trying to figure roof, out. Then and I was car. trying to help you because I felt bad. I loved it. it we went cool. to Olive Garden before. We had a great time. Then Where you were you? Seven breadsticks. Oh my God. In under a minute. <laughs> Dude, they brought out the breadsticks and she just started breathing them in. And then, like, after 30 seconds, we're like, oh, where'd they go? And she's like, <laughs> she's like oh, did oh, you guys want any of those? supposed to eat any of those? <laughs> she goes, oh, you guys wanted some of those? Oh, my God. It was, it was uh, Barcelona, Barcelona Danielle. That's a little What's inside, inside, Danielle? inside joke. We Danielle went to Barcelona. <laughs> Do you know about this? No, but I just remember Danielle for her fat face. It's so funny. <laughs> She's like, I, and then she calls me, and she's like, her cheeks are so big, I'm like, <laughs> okay. and she's like, I just can't stop eating. <laughs> that's what she said to me. Brett Bre- Bre- told me it was like the. She doesn't have an off. It was like no. they're like the same same weight. Can't stop eating. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> she did that the other night. We were like, dude, it's okay. Like, stop. Like, oh, I can't. No, she. She goes, no, it's fine because I just starve myself oh for the rest God. of the week. <laughs> she's like five feet tall. She can't she's, be doing she's that. She's so an extremist. She is. She's tiny. Oh fuck! I love your sister. God no, bless her soul. I fucking love her. Yeah, she honestly, your sister's like one of my favorite people. She's oh so my God. funny. She's so funny. Me and you get drunk and like cry about her sometimes. Yeah, like, no. We're so happy we met her. I'm so happy I met her. She's such a. She's also such a great soul. I know. I don't know if we're supposed to talk about her, but no. Yeah, if mom she, and dad are watching this, I love your kid. She did say to all of us because she's ours we're now. like the four closest people to her in LA. Yeah. She was like, "Keep my name out of your mouth." <laughs> she, yeah. she texts us whenever we talk about her on the podcast. She's like, "Shut the fuck." Up. <laughs> <laughs> Mom and dad are gonna hear this. Well, they watch the podcast. You really? should bring you should bring them to back to uh, Connecticut. No, they I tried. I tried. I watched her location one time, and I I almost did buy a flight. You were out of town. <laughs> yes, no, you were, soccer, you were, no, no, you were in Florida, and I was like, "Can I come?" She was like, "No, actually, do oh, it." Yeah. You were out of town. I was really depressed. You should and come. I almost went. We're gonna go back in August. I'm from Brunswick, Ohio. I'm from yeah. yeah they're from Ohio. We're from Cleveland. Dude, I <laughs> dude, 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 you know that I started saying like, "Oh, Cleveland," just to like preface. Wait, you have you have Charlotte's hair. Wait, can I ask you guys a question about Cleveland? Yeah. yeah. Why is it called the mistake on the lake? Um, <laughs> I actually know I've the heard. answer. I, that's the first time I've heard of that. Really? Yeah. Hey, wait, you got an island. No, I started telling people that we were Do from it. Cleveland, and they're like, "Yeah, Cleveland," and then, but like we say Cleveland because um, it's the suburbs of Cleveland. It's just easier. No, no one called- knows what Brunswick, Ohio, is. You know. Guilty. Well, they do now. Uh, it's called a mistake on the lake because they built like the stadium and everything so close to the lake that you couldn't put a parking lot or like literally anything like <laughs> anything like you had to build backwards, but you couldn't build like forwards. They literally suck it right. But they're just like, the oh water. shit! And they're We're like, like oh. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm like 99 percent positive. That's mistake the story that I've heard. Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Kyle McCarthy's my friend, nickname. Nice <laughs> right? Dude, how fun is Cedar Point? Oh my god! I want to go. We should like, go really bad. We're, I've been we're, trying to go. We okay. were planning, and you should come too. We're planning uh, to yeah, go to Ohio. a football game in Dallas. You've never been there. And go to have you? Point. I have. We well, had you, a, t- a show there. You told me about that. Where? What city? In Cleveland. Okay. Wait, so how did you two meet? Yeah, how did you two meet? No, how did you two meet? Who us two? How did you two meet? We met at Halloween. Which yeah. We how we each yeah. Met how do we all know each other? Wait, Halloween from 2019. Where am I? I brought you to that. What? No, you were out of town. No, I met you, you live here yet. when you came into town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I met that you at the happy hour Halloween party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and you thought I was really cool, and then yeah, I thought you were so mysterious and quiet. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh. <laughs> Did Brett, tables have turned. Did other Brett steal her from you? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, that's definitely not. That's no a bitch. I know. I remember thinking she was like really mysterious and cool, and I was like, I can't. I said to Danny, I was like, I can't wait to talk to that Maria girl again. <laughs> and, and then we went. She's like, like, ah. And then we met up <laughs> yeah. at Saddle Ranch like two weeks later, and we're sitting You're there. Like, oh. And, I, and she wouldn't stop talking. Dude. And I looked at Danielle and I was like, I don't know if I ever want to talk to her again. <laughs> and, then, and then we went over to your house and you took olive oil and poured it all <laughs> over that the That was the first night you met her? It was like, that was like, that this was like no, this was like this, the second time when we went to Settle Ranch and she wouldn't stop talking. And then we went to your house that night. You poured olive oil all over the ground. <laughs> she thought it was a good idea. She dumped the entire thing of olive oil no, all over the ground. We were floor. so drunk. We actually came from like Saddle or something and I had all these people in my house. I was like, dude, fuck this. Let's make a skiing rink in my kitchen. So I took the bottle of olive oil and I have like this marble floor. I don't know where this idea And I put from, it all around. I gave everyone socks. I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I thought. This and that's why I have a broken rib and then a broken <laughs> yeah, wrist. No. <laughs> no, but it was actually fun. We were sitting there like slipping and sliding in this <laughs> olive oil. And then I woke up the next day. I was like, oh. I think she had the most fun. And I was sitting oil. in the corner and I was like. <laughs> like 
<laughs> like, I'm never coming back. I was like, what have I gotten myself into? Wait, was I was it like, like a no, naked, I don't think like, you should be friends with these girls. Was it like a naked skating ring? And now I'm pregnant. No, <laughs> it was. They were definitely clothed. No, I'm pretty sure she had a onesie on, like just skating around. Oh, <laughs> just two girls from Ohio. <laughs> Brunswick from the mistake on the lake. I'm just that I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> so did you meet in high school? Yes. Yeah. So my We're best my family. best friend, her name was Hannah. Um, she was like my best friend for like I want to say like seven eight years was actually her cousin. So then me and mm-hmm. Hannah were best friends in high school, and then she started bringing her around. She went to a different high school. So we've been friends now since like 2011 2012. Yeah, and before like, like you could drive a car, we were friends. And then we just like we hit it off, and we're yeah. like, oh my god, we never met someone else that was kind of like so much like us. Like our per- our personalities just like oh my meshed god, right away. You are me, but brunette. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I am you. You <laughs> are me. And then and then people were like, oh, you can come to this party, but only if you bring Maria. Oh. And I was like, you fucking bitch. Uh, yeah, people from other schools really liked me. Yeah. But people from my school are kind of like, mm. <laughs> it's like when they know like you since girl. middle school, they're like turned off by you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get that. Yeah, yeah. I felt like I was like, because I always felt like I never really belonged. And oh. then I met Alyssa. And oh, I felt shit, like, here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I always felt like, oh, my gosh, like, because she was just so out there. And I felt like I was always out there. I was always like loud and crazy. And I was always who I was. And then I met her and she was just so comfortable being herself. So when I was younger, it was in a little bit way like inspiring like, i want to i want to break out of my shell yeah so cute. Well, that's I, really nice. I was i was out of my shell i just like never found somebody else that I could accept was, you yeah that like liked like, me for yeah, me yeah. or that was similar to me or like she was just always spontaneous and crazy she would show up at my house i'd be like yo i'm outside we're going to, <laughs> we're going somewhere and i'd be like i mean okay and i barely knew her yeah that was fun though and your but parents, that's how we bonded your parents were like don't smoke crack <laughs> yeah and then we did i was kidding <laughs> That's actually a really nice story. Yeah. That was I had cute. no idea. And then she forced you to move out here? Yeah. Charlotte loves you guys. Well, dude, I had to. So I bought, or I didn't buy a house. I'm renting. But um, I got this house mm-hmm. and I was like, oh my God. I had like no furniture. Um, I went from like living in that house with like Chantel, Cindy, like everyone. I only had like a bed and like all this random stuff. And then I was like, hey, I'm getting a house. I have no furniture. I kind of need, if you can like be my assistant kind of, can you, I'll pay you if you just come out here and like help me like set up my house. And, she and was, I had like, yeah yeah and i like just graduated college i was just like Sit. ready to go i wanted to move out of cleveland i didn't know exactly where i wanted to go but i was like i want to get out you guys aren't going out after this are you <gasps> what we should <laughs> you know no, we should. no I am. should we go to thing else favorite karaoke bar what is that place called oak Savern. oak Savern. i think that's where you we all really bonded was like one thing i was like everyone let's go do karaoke at oaks tavern yeah so how'd you guys meet through lele we did meet Thank you, Layla, Probably yeah. like 2017, 2018. No, no, because no, like 1600 Vine back in the day. Yeah. When everyone was making like Vines and shit. I wasn't making Vines there, but yeah. I, uh, actually, I went there a couple times when we were, I was with hanging out with like Scott. And, yeah. And Lele, I think. Lele, Jake Logan, that whole squad. Yeah. A lot of people, all these creators went there. That was like the spot in 2017. I remember, I think we were shooting like some like video on a rooftop. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just like, like a there brand deal or something. Yeah. And then. She, Alyssa walks out of the apartment. She's like, "Hey, Lele, you want to hang out later?" <laughs> and they're like yelling across from like across the street from like an apartment building to like a parking complex. <laughs> it was just really funny. That's that was like, your I'm, first memory. I mean? think so. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't tell you yeah. mine. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. Yeah, it was. Lele's getting married. I saw that, dude. I cried when I saw the video. Holy shit, oh, Lele! If you're watching this, congratulations, Lele. Wow, we love you. That's crazy. Weddings are fun. Have you been to one? I went to one last weekend. Oh, yeah, it was great. It ripped your pants. No, you ripped your pants. I did rip my pants. <laughs> you did? Yeah. What happened? You, you were there, no? No, yeah, I was You were the there wedding. when he ripped his pants. After? After, after the wedding? Or yeah, the after wedding? the wedding. Uh, no, upstairs in Neil's apartment. No, I ripped it at Barless. Oh, you Oh. Wait, you did that at Barless? Yeah. I, I, I don't remember this. And then someone st- stapled my pants together. Full mm. asshole out. No way. I you didn't wear underwear? All right. So we're oh doing that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Just free balling it? Definitely an experience. It's better for your balls. To like let your... To let them, like, let them hang instead of like being all like tight into your... Crumpt, crump, crumpled, crumpled up? Yeah, exactly. What about that, like if you wore boxers versus briefs? Maybe you just meet, need to be a boxer Meet in the middle? Yeah. yeah. Boxers are kind of an, an, like annoying on the legs. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that? Yeah. I wouldn't know. That's how I feel. <laughs> 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 what? 
<laughs> no, have you ever like put on guys on like boxers after and like it's tight? It feels like it feels like spank or not spanks like like workout shorts. It feels better, but like baggy boxers, just like ew, free access. Mm-hmm. Free access. Do you know what, they're, like, you they're like they're like free access to <laughs> the world. No, but it's just open. And then it's, it's <laughs> just, it just it's really uncomfy. Yeah, and I was wearing right. like dress pants, and so like it was like. Perfect to like not wear any underwear with the dress pants. You thought like, this is my moment. Yeah. What, I'm going to not wear what underwear. What was fun though about the wedding exactly. was that this was like my first wedding that I've gone to where like a handful of like some my best friends were there and like Danielle was there and we were just like, it wasn't family, it was just friends and we could just go fucking crazy. It looked fun. And Todd just sent it. He wasn't even that fucked up. He just like became the <laughs> nucleus of the party. He created an entire Congo line and then created like a mosh pit. He lifted the groom's the groom up oh, on, no. up up during the mosh pit in the air. Like he became like the life like he was the showman of the whole party. It was really impressive. What? That's what they said. They oh, said you were so the strong. life of the party and they were like, Oh you know, Todd needs to come back. <laughs> dude, <laughs> no, that's they, what they said at Barlow's after. They could hire you. Actually? Yeah, I swear to God. Oh, they were wow. all like, dude, you should have seen Todd. And then you I look really over were. and you're like, nah. <laughs> 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 I believe it. You need some water. <laughs> dude, you were the ringleader. You really were. Well, I, I just envisioned have you seen Starsky and Hutch? Yeah. The dance part in Starsky and Hutch? No. No, no? okay. Well <laughs> it, it, ben, <laughs> ben still has a dance off in Starsky and Hutch. And so I pictured that and then I pictured Leo from Wolf of Wall Street. I'm like, I got it. No, that's what that's what yeah. someone told me. Someone said that you did the thing. And you <laughs> no, were like there, doing that. There was a like, circle right. of like 200 people. And he was in the center of the circle dancing by himself, doing all the moves. And then people would join in with him and he would like dance with them. And then that person would go back into the crowd. And then another person would come in the circle. And then Shout from Wedding Crashers came on. I'm like, oh my God. Oh this my is my God. Moment. And that's when he created the mouse. I was just like, fuck. Wait, was, that's so sick. Yeah, it was, it was fun. I it love was surreal. that. surreal. Weddings are, weddings are a great no, time. No, that wedding, I forget. I don't know whose it was. It was like the fact that it was black and white and like it was just so clean, was just so yeah. classy. Very at classy At the BHH, it looked yeah, gorgeous. Like I'm like, that's how I want my second wedding. wedding to go. Second wedding. <laughs> what about my first, first one? I want to be drunk in Vegas. Okay. And like marry a stranger, maybe. But like, I've always said that. But now that I'm she getting was, older, I'm like, maybe. Maybe you don't want to wear a marry a stranger? Do that. Anyway, so where are you guys from? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm from Connecticut. Yeah, I'm from Newport. When are you guys going to get married? Huntington. Who, me and her? Yeah. I tried to marry her in Vegas, and she won't do it. If it, if it came to the point that she was going to get deported, which she wouldn't, because she was born here. But I always put the scenario out. I was just like, I would always, she, I would marry you. She won't marry me, even for like the video or anything. I, I find it really offensive. Alyssa, why don't you vlog anymore? I'm <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one. fuck you. You would fucking... I'm fucking sick. M- yeah, no, it was so fun. Millions. No. I, it's not, I didn't go into this. I had like this huge self-realization the other day. Not the other day, a couple months ago. That's good. I never wanted to actually be a vlogger. I didn't want to do social media. I came to LA to like model. I signed with an agency, mm. signed with acting. Like I wanted to actually Act. do that. And then certain people kind of forced me down social media, but I'll never be like, oh, they forced me. Cause like it was fun and it, it was a lot of money and it was, and I made good money and I was very blessed. But I also was just like, I never wanted to be like the star of the show. I, I wanted to like create art and like dope. Like I wanted to be in like movies and like music and do like cool shit that will live on forever. I don't want to be like, hey guys, I'm totally, here. Yeah. Uh, this is what's in my makeup bag. Like <laughs> it's fucking like. <laughs> Here's what's in my makeup bag. Like, this no, is what, I, I wake up and I eat toast every day. Like it's just you know? avocado toast. I feel you on that. I'm like 100%. no hundred percent. Why the fuck but, do like, people care what I do every day? Who cares? So I, it's like. On the other hand, I, I, I'm with you, but let's say, okay, no disrespect, but you're not in movies right now, right? Unless you are going to be. I'm in acting classes. Okay, I, that's amazing. And I love that. Guitar lessons that I just started. Fuck yeah. Little rock star. I was just going to say, you could like make your own style videos that aren't so like, oh, hey, look at me. I'm doing this makeup and eating, eating toast, but you can like make your own videos very creative and artistic and like uh, that reflect but not you, to play devil's you know? advocate if she, if she doesn't find it like fulfilling no, or, totally. or yeah, love making videos it's, once I make the video I have like five videos right now backed up I have like a girls trip I have a bunch of shit and once I'm in the moment I'm so creative yeah. and I kill it but like I, it's not I don't like sitting there and like editing myself if being you. like I'm so cool like I don't want to f- tell people how cool I am or, like, I don't even know how to explain it like I just don't want all the attention to be on me Yeah, it's, it's weird which is very weird because this is literally the path I chose in the career, but it's like I, I don't want that. Twenty five years old, and you have, right? Twenty five. Mm-hmm. You have so much ahead of you. You can do whatever, <laughs> do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Make a song. Like you've accomplished so much. 
at 20, like most people are like, <laughs> people are like you've come with so much. Most right people are like, <laughs> aren't you? Aren't you like a no, platinum but like artist? Mo- most people are like still like assistants at your age and like I was trying to make it, your age. making it through the corporate world. Yeah, and you've yeah. like, I delayed it a couple. You've years reached now. like tens of <laughs> millions of people. Like that's really unbelievable. I know. I have Hundreds conversations with her all the time where I'm like, I'll break down like almost weekly and be like, I'm not shit. I'm not successful. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like and like she'll be like, dude, and like, but in my head, I don't think I am. It's like it's hard to explain. But do you do you think you self sabotage? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, but even aside from that, I feel like a lot of people who had success like really early, or have like reached certain levels, like they like I, you see it a lot with like artists and creatives, like they exhibit like self sabotaging behavior where it's like they become their own worst enemy at just creating content and like or they create and they don't want to put it out because like the fear of the success that they had and reaching that success and the highs become higher, the lows become lower. No, literally, I didn't want to do this podcast because I'm scared of like the comments. I did really, I'll sit there for literally like days and read comments and I won't get out of bed. It's like, it gets that crazy. Well, the lead, but, there's not going to be any bad comments and if, if there are, we're going to find their IP addresses and hunt, hunt them down. But also, <laughs> that's Todd, Todd will create a burner account. That, <laughs> oh, oh. And, and, and they comments like, and be like, fuck you. Honestly, that should be like, Badass. if, okay, w- with this podcast and comments coming out and you want to like go read these comments so badly that would be such a good um test or just like a a new step in a different direction for yourself to not go and read the comments it's not even that it's like now we live in like this like world where it's like with tiktok and everything it's like like i can post something that's so positive whatever you're still gonna get these comments and like with my anxiety and i by the way i never used to have anxiety like this and now it's like this anxiety is like I, my life is so driven by it where it's like if I read one bad thing or if something crazy happens, like my entire life will go down. It's weird. And I can't control it anymore. I used to be able to control it. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Well, anyway. How are you? I'm sorry that Brett left that comment. About you. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> She's like, I hate this. I'm just kidding. We're almost done. Don't worry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just no, kidding. We're fine. Your last name's not Violet. It's Butler. <laughs> <I know>. ah! <laughs> Fuck. That's true. Have you ever made out with anyone here? I tried to make out with her and she won't do it. No, dude. You're like my sister. Maybe we did one time. We've never made out. Do you have any regrets? In life? Who, both of them? Yeah. Yeah, every day. What are you guys' regrets? Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell you guys. You just said ask, we can ask you anything. Oh, fuck. I have a lot, but I can't say it on camera. Okay, give us one that you can't say. I can't say anything. <laughs> I can't let. I'll tell you guys off camera. I can't tell What's you. What's one now. thing you can say? Ask oh, we don't want to pressure you. Not Me? Yeah. Do you have any regrets? Um. I mean, I just think that everything that you can take out of life is like a learning lesson. So, like, no matter what you go through, it kind of like helps shape who you are as a person. So, I don't really have any regrets because it's like I wouldn't be who I am today if. I didn't have all the life experiences that I've had. What if we had like a big red button and we just, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, that was beautiful. Thank you. No, but seriously. Nice. Yeah. hundred percent. It is true though. When you think about it, like I wish I could leave earlier in situations like relationships when I saw something bad. Happen. She got real serious. She got, she I got know, Indian I thought style. About it. When She's all Indian. Style. I thought about it. Cross legged. No, I'm glad you took it seriously. Yeah. yeah. You sit up straight. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 sorry. Oh. So I'm sitting. <laughs> what are your regrets? Oh. Should we turn this into our podcast now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, no, what's, what's your podcast? Whoa, the what's tables have You know what? The turntables can't turn. This is our podcast. <laughs> Welcome and back to Alyssa and Maria's. I can't tell show. you the any good of girls. my regrets. No regrets. Um, I, I think it's a hard question. It huh? is. A, it is a couple regrets. Um, I think it would be similar to yours. Also, like leaving like certain relationships earlier and like kind of like you know buckling down and not staying in them just because and then uh, i thought about this today like i wish like a few years ago like i thought i was like going hard in the paint like what i w- wanted to do I w- I, and then today i thought about like why why didn't you just go harder you know yeah but i feel like i've been working like pretty hard for like the like, past like four or five years but you know my life is like very i mean like all of ours, like very up and down, like very rewarding and very like, you know, not rewarding at the same time. So mm-hmm. I guess you had to like view it like the stock market. This is up and down, baby. That's true. But at the end of the day, it always ends a little bit higher. Yeah. I've, I've been, yeah. Over time. If you look, it's always on the, it's up. always on the, it's up. always inflation. Yeah. But I guess for me, I, I think back to like four and a half years ago when I like quit a lot of toxic things out of my life, like including drinking and weed and what it was included in that was like, a lot of people 
but I had a really hard time figuring out like was someone toxic for me or was I just like in a bad mental state? So I just cut out everybody. And then in my mind, I was like, I'm going to cut everyone out of my life. I'm going to cut drinking out. I'm going to cut weed. And then when I decide, like when I figure out what I want to let back into my life in a healthy way, like I even cut like gluten and dairy. Like I cut so much of my life cause I was just like so anxious and needed to like figure out what was hurting me. And then as I like went back to the people that I cared about to like let them back in my life, a lot of them like were like, they, they were like, fuck, fuck you, because I had, like, pushed them away so much, mm-hmm. thinking in my mind, like, when I was ready, I could let them back in, but some people were hurt, so I think if I could go back in time, I would have not been so extreme, it, to me, at the time, it felt so black and white that I just needed to, like, cut everything out, and, like, didn't realize that I was hurting other people, so now, if I could go back in time or do it again, I would, like... Or do you feel like those people weren't, like, your real friends, to not stick around, like, if I did so black and white and I cut everything out, I know she would still be there, and... Well, some people long. were, but I think there were some people who, I mean, it's just like everyone handles things differently. Like I have a couple of people specifically in mind that like I think about and I'm like, you know, there's definitely people that I'm glad I cut out, but then there's a few people where I'm like, oh man, like mm-hmm. they were really good friends and they were de- there for me when I needed them. But I like pu- pushed them away so much that I probably couldn't figure out how to like let them back in again. Mm-hmm. So... But I do think, like, everything happens for a reason, and I think going through that experience is what led me to, like, people like Todd and, and then ultimately you guys and, like, the things that, like, finding – I had to find new people in my life that I could love and, like, could understand me, and I grew up a lot. So I think everything like, – maybe that would never have happened. It definitely would not have happened if I didn't, like, go so- sober and cut all these things in my life and then, like, let them back in, so mm-hmm. – you know, again, everything does happen for a reason, but you always are like, could this have still happened? Could have everything, like, could I have had all these friends that I have now and still had some of my old friends that, like, I loved that I probably aren't as much in my life anymore? Yeah, but I mean, that could have, like, led you on the path to, you know, meet all of us. It did, yeah. Yada, yada. Which is do you think that you have, like, your own destination and, like, no matter where you go, like, like, or, like do, or do you think, like, do you believe in fate or do you believe that you kind of, like, make your own? Or do you think, like, you're going to go where you're supposed to go? Like, are you asking if fate's predetermined? Dude, I think everything ha- happens for a reason, no matter yeah. what it is. Like, I could have fucked up so bad last week, whatever, what, and then, like, all of a sudden, like, it, it made a path for me that I was like, oh, my God, I didn't even know this was now you're on the possible path. for me. And now I'm going to rehab. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> no, but, I like. I mean, but you should. Like, passages. No, but, like. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, th- can we talk about this? What? You need to go to rehab. <laughs> <laughs> this is your intervention. <laughs> well, you me. me. Then y'all come <laughs> down. Everyone All comes down. People come out. They're like, uh, my mom comes out. The I'm cameras like, are, are not even on. Your dogs are here. I can't wait, this is all fake. This Your whole set. Walks out, she's crying. We're actually, <laughs> <laughs> we're actually in Malibu at Passages. <laughs> like, like, yeah, the walls come up. Yeah. Have you seen that, that scene from Mission Impossible? Like, uh, never mind. It's, it's, uh, never mind. But yeah, <laughs> the wall. <laughs> no, go go ahead. What were you going to finish it? What? Okay, New, newest Mission Impossible, where this guy. They need him to confess something, and then he. So they set up this whole like smoke screen, smoke and mirrors, where like the world explodes because this guy said uh, it should, it should, and the people need to pay the price. But they tricked him, and they it was a whole like set that they took away, and then he starts panicking because they got the information out of him that they needed to get. <gasps> oh my god, we might have to cut that whole thing out. I feel like I'm high. Why? I don't know. Because you want to talk to This is your intervention now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Natalie comes in. Yeah, oh my fuck. <laughs> you know, the, at the, break, the brunch after the wedding, everyone. Oh my I God, was, everyone was so hungover. Wait, wasn't Danielle with us? Yeah. So everyone was with us, and I was like, dude, you got to pull together. And she's like, no, I have to go to brunch. I'm like, no, I'll come to the pool with us. And we didn't sleep that night. I have to go to brunch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was worried about you guys because. I saw you guys the night before at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. You're like, we're going home. I got a full night's sleep. I go down to our pool at like 11 a.m. You guys are still at our pool, and you guys you guys hadn't slept yet. We didn't sleep. No. Which brings me back to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that- but like when I do go, okay, I'm not going to. When like, I do Let's go- not make it a thing where everyone's like, oh my She's God, She's planning a rehab trip. No, but when I go, I will literally like not drink. I'll have my shit together. I'll like work out all week. I'll be really healthy. So will you. And, like, we work all week. And then, like, Friday hits. We go hard. We probably don't sleep. Or, like, we just... When we oh, go yeah. hard, we go too hard. Sorry, I thought you were talking which, about... Should we get Benihana tonight? Yeah. Yeah, can we? <laughs> Do you really want to? The, 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 the hibachi chain restaurant? Benicino, yeah. Benny fucking Hana? Benny, Benny, Benny fucking Hana! Hana. <laughs> Benny fucking Hana? Everything... Where is the line? Let's be honest. What are your top three turn-ons? Obviously, I know. Why? Oh, I, I know what it is. George Bush? I know you know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, yeah, you can't say that. Dude, this is my podcast. <laughs> yeah. I can say whatever the fuck I want. No, um, I don't know, maybe like someone so intelligent. <laughs> someone so, like, intelligent. someone who treats me right. <laughs> someone who is funny. spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's me. I choose me. <laughs> I'm right here. What, I'm like <laughs> Maria, Maria yeah. and Maria. Super intelligent. Still not down. What? You're still not down? No, dude. Jesus. But then she's like, but also like slit me open. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Are you going to go hard this weekend or? Yeah, yeah just. Uh, hot, hot. What is wait, it? Are we going? Are we going? Hot, 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 hot and Tron. Are we going to that cocktail restaurant tonight? I don't know. Should we? I, are we going to Benihana? Are we being serious? I'm down to smell like butter. <laughs> me too. I'm not going to Benihana. I can't. Oh, the, yeah. the hibachi last time just fucked my stomach up. Did the it? Benihana or the, one, one, the, the samurai one? The other one. For all of your summer travels, whether you're going abroad or staying domestic and want to immerse yourself in the culture, now is the perfect time to start Babbel. Folks, I am headed to Paris, France very, very soon. And yes, they do speak French. Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, there's still time to learn a new language before you reach your destination. I've started my journey of learning French through Babbel. Je m'appelle Todd. See? I'm what the French call les compétents. With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson, so you can start having real-life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash goodboys. That's babbel.com slash goodboys, G-O-O-D-B-O-Y-S, for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Jimmy Pell Todd. We're in this Korean barbecue place, and like in the middle of it, I got fucking some syndrome in my stomach. Started like yeah, I started rumbling. Yeah, you had to get up. It was really scary. Hibachi is just all like sodium and like rice. I feel like it's not. It's pretty like, bad for you. Yeah, I don't think it's healthy at all. I mean, alcohol is pretty bad for you, but who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah. All that so well, We're gonna go there. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, like like tequila is like from agave. Like agave, agave is like. From like ground, like, it's a plant. Well, it's good. So I think it's actually considered a vegetable. Why am I so if you could add up the number <laughs> of followers that every guy you've ever hooked up with has, what would it be? What a question! <laughs> it's strictly for Alyssa I've or never hooked up and, with and anybody? Maria. No, we're gonna we're gonna, sh- we're gonna go strictly, strictly Alyssa. Alyssa. Wait, Marie and I got in a fight. You guys day. always get in fights. So I'm like, I never know if it's serious but, or not. But like, when other people get in the fights with Maria, like Alyssa attacks them. But when Marie and I, I get in the fights, she giggles, so I know that she... That's like how I knew that Alyssa likes me, or maybe agrees <laughs> with what I'm saying. Because <laughs> usually our fights are like, you're talking over uh, over everyone, you don't listen when other people talk, and then we start bickering, and then she yells at me, I don't even remember, because I zone it out. <laughs> <laughs> so we so we get nowhere, and so that's so good. <laughs> so, neither, so you basically said that you listening. are also a bad listener. Yeah. Intern. I mean, but we bicker. We do bicker. It's you guys are like brother and sister. It is weird. Do you guys know anybody that Brad has a crush on? Yes. I have no. Can I say them? I have no crushes. How much? Can I say them? I have no crushes right now. Who? Say them. Say their names. Alyssa keeps licking the microphone. Say their names. So does Charlotte. (laughs) No, say their names. Can I? I don't give a fuck. I only know. I know two. Who? Nat. Okay. Jesus. (laughs) Can you imagine? (laughs) Yours. No, but she was mean to me at the uh, at David's birthday party. I love her though. I think she's blonde. Nat. No, she has no. dark hair. She's really hot. Oh, Coachella. 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 Coachella girl. I don't know. Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> no, <wait. Who? laughs> I don't know anyone. Who's, name? who's Lindsay? I don't know. Isn't oh, that Alexa? her name? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's what I said. Alexa? Mm-hmm. Alexa Davis? Mm-hmm. Who else? Oh, I got one. Your sister. Who? Bella. <laughs> Bella. Bella? I do mm-hmm. think Bella's really cute. Bella. Bella. We had a good, we had fun on 4th of July. You had a crush on who? Well, you you also go through periods where you like you, you have, have. Can I be honest? You have. A, you have to. Can I? Oh, sorry. Can yeah. I be honest? You have a crush on someone new every week. That's not true. Um. Who else? 
You th- that's what Ella and fucking Taylor said too. Who else? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Laura Manor. I've never had a crush on Laura Manor. Really? That's a lie. No, I think when we okay, we crossed this line between like being friends and then we became like really close friends. And then I think and she's like a, she's so stunning. Can I not touch my mic? I think Sorry, for like a few days. We what like, do you guys want out of life, huh? What? Is that the next question? No, go, go ahead. For like a few days, like I was like, do I have a crush on her? And then like we hung out and then she got really drunk one night and was like really mean to like she was like really mean. She like not at anyone, she just became like kind of like really philly. And I oh, said yeah. to her, <laughs> and then I said to her, if you didn't have anger problems when you were drunk, I would marry you, but <laughs> let's just stay friends. Well, that's so funny. Has anybody, that actually is something you'd say. has anybody called you girls like really Cleveland or like really Ohio? Yeah, when is, we speak, when we have like our Can you not do that with the mic? Why do you not like that? <laughs> oh, you you're, don't like that. You're not, you Tyler, like that? you're not Tyler Joseph. Should we wave something else in front of you and do like a TikTok? Why don't you girls wear Gothic mochas more? Do what? Oh my God! Why don't wait. you wear gothic mochas more? Oh my God, yeah, Todd! What? what? You, you want to talk about that? Wait, uh, what? Yeah, tell this, tell no, me and Todd used no. to have sleepovers. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, why don't you wear gothic mochas? But me and Todd used to hang out back in the day. He gave me like two gothic mochas things. He was like, yo, how much do I pay you to? I never post said this? that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, had, you gave me some of your stuff, and you're like, can you please just start wearing it in your videos? And I was like, I, I never said that. Yes, you did. I no, I don't. We probably can't. Wait, wait, wait. Take some steps back. There needs to be more context. Wait, I'll be honest. Every girl I slept with, I gave. Her a sweatshirt just to remember so she can remember me. Okay, there I said it. Oh my god, <laughs> hey, <laughs> yo. no, I'm not keeping that in. Yes, we are. No, but those that time that I did sleep over your house because I was so drunk and I passed out there. Um, Zane came in with the ukulele and was like, <laughs> <laughs> What was he singing? Um, that that one, like that one. I will always be young, or like something. What like, was it? I posted a TikTok of him like doing it. It, it was, was Matt, was it Matt King? With it was the, Matt. It was Matt and, and it Zane. was Zane. Came, came running in, and it was the best morning of my life. It was so funny. It was a really funny morning. When did you lose your virginity? Ooh, Ooh. who lost her virginity Ooh. first, Alyssa or Maria? Take a guess. I'm still a virgin. <laughs> Take a guess. She's a born again virgin. I feel like I feel you like had like a, a boyfriend at like wait. 14 and gave it up. <laughs> <laughs> really? I feel like he has lost at the same time, same night, same guy. I think I was 16 or 17. I think I was like 18. What? In a closet, and then I cried. You cried? Yeah. What happened? Um, no, I was just like, I'm not a virgin anymore. Like, I was like really upset about it. It was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I actually just got it taken. Um, yeah, no, that, that's that's about all I got. It was just because I was like, oh my god, like I can never get it back. Do you think you need to have sex to fall in love? I think to continue 100%. a relationship. Are you insane? Yeah. Oh my god! Like, what if like you guys think you're in love, and then all of a sudden you hook up, and it's like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! Do you think that co-star is accurate when yes. it says that there's sexual chemistry between people? No, oh, I don't know about that, but I'll get a co-star like thing, and then I'll be like, oh, like I'll be like having a terrible day, and I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna die, and I'll be like, oh, you're gonna die, like you're having a bad day. It's in a car <laughs> really? like soon. I gotta find this TikTok. No, you can't see. The one, no, it's, it's Oh, Grace right. Vanderwall. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know no. my yeah, name. No. You would come in, in the morning, like, feeling, I don't know my <laughs> name. And I don't know the, the rules, rules of the game. game. Like, it's shirtless going, like, shaking <laughs> <laughs> It was so much fun. And I was yeah. only there a couple times. God, Todd is so good. Because I got so it? drunk and passed out on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no. know my rules name. of the game. Yeah, that was, that was a great song. Would you not date someone based on their astrological sign? Yes. Yes. Really? Actually, Why? no. And no. what signs would you not date? Leos. Is there, um, Why? Gemini's. I'm just kidding. Why? Both of you. I was just kidding about the Leo part. You wouldn't date a Gemini? I'm Actually, no. I'm weirdly like... Um, <laughs> I'm like very love-hate with Gemini. I start throwing yeah. shit. Uh, the last <laughs> the he only likes like Sagittarius. On the like. They're not listening. I, they're they're not like, I don't know. Like, I like Sagittarius. All right, well, thank you so much for coming. I start breaking shit in the background. It like, just cuts. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the DJ like. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, you guys didn't like that. Oh, this is gonna be a DJ. Hey, Danielle, can you come pick up your phone? <laughs> oh, no, dude. <laughs> Danielle, your friends are drunk again. She didn't walk in and be Dude, like, you guys wanted me on here. I literally, like, she guys, me like, I gave them an ultimatum. I was like, I will only come on your podcast if I can be drunk and if Maria can come. That's not why we. The only reason we wanted Maria. Why? <laughs> why do you want me? Yeah, what do you want her? I think they're both great. You no, wanna, they're amazing. Because you want to hook up with me. Oh, thank you. What? You want to hook up with Maria? I do, do not want to hook up with Maria. Yeah, no, I think we. There's I so think many girls I'd rather hook up with right now than Maria. No. Oh my god. 
No, Brett's like my brother. We already talked. This about is this. taking a weird turn. I know. No, this I should just never, like a, a podcast not, about no, people hooking up. Time, no, I, dude. <laughs> do you think? Do you think men and the women can have hook up boys? Do you think men and women can platonically be friends forever? Yes, yeah, I have a lot of guy friends. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Can I tell the story about when uh, you solved the Rubik's Cube? Dude, we we'll, brought this we'll over. I'll take the bit though so far. Like literally like, just for you. So one of our friends, stop. one of our friends when we were all at the pool the one day and uh, I was like just getting back from Florida and you guys were all there and apparently you solved the Rubik's Cube and they were like, all right, if you solve a Rubik's Cube in under one minute, I'll make out with you. Mm-hmm. So you did it in under one minute. I was, dude, I've never... And, s- Never and they call me so and they're life. like, dude, I got to make out with Brett. And I was like, no way. And, and I was, was like, like, this really do cute not girl. She's do like, it yet. Do not do it yet. And all I got was like, all the selfies. There's like, like <laughs> really cute girls. Like if you saw that under me, I'll make out with you right now. At the pool? And then I was like this. He did it. That's pretty insane. No, he did it. You kind of just did yeah, well, it. I mean, I mean, did he you, patent it? Mine it, it, now. It is on video that it was your idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not going to go out that length. It's just too much. How often do you talk to your parents? Every day. That's good. Often? Yeah. Very often. I have Pilates. I, I wake up. I I do Pilates, and then I have to drop off London of the groomers, and then I have a call, and then um, I'm supposed to call Maria and ask her about some weird shit, and then. <laughs> do you still have both your dogs? I have London. Where's Paris? Paris is with my parents right now because he just had back surgery. Oh shit! And they. I knew, I knew this actually. I just... Yeah, Paris just had back surgery. Or Paris. I'm gonna edit this and we go boo doo 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 <laughs> and then you guys so, talk in the background. No, going. because they care. Paris is a Frenchie and he has this like thing on his back. Dude, fuck you. Paris is a Frenchie and has um I forget what it's called in his back where it's like he has scoliosis. Discs. Yeah, kind of like that. But he has he just had to have surgery again. He's had it twice on his back. So Paris is with my parents. I have London. Brett, are you gonna solve this or what? I don't like this one. This one doesn't move as fast. Oh my god. I think, I fucked up I think you're past the one minute mark. We're going to make out with We're going to have to cut a lot of this out. It's all right. Wait, you're timing you it? Oh! Wait. Wait. Do we count that? You got it. That was a cool thing I've ever seen. Okay. Yeah. That was pretty fucking sad. I would have made out with you if you got it under a minute, but that's close. If you do it, then I'll selfie it. Next time. <laughs> I don't know how anyone could ever do Rubik's Cube. Are you going to be in LA forever? Sorry. Fuck no. I'm having kids in the London countryside. <gasps> London? Yeah. You mean like the English countryside? Does London have a countryside? Yeah. Mm. English countryside. Not well versed in my United Kingdom geology. Your UK geography. Yeah. Are you guys having geography. kids in LA? Um, I'll probably have the kid here then go somewhere else. Maybe like Santa Barbara. Right. Very far. <laughs> yeah, good for you. <laughs> really planned know. out. Is Natalie pregnant? I don't know how to go to the UK. I really like Texas. Ooh. I like Texas. I feel like I, I feel like in my bones I was meant to be in Dallas. I'm thinking Chattanooga. Like Put on your cowboy hat. Show the world what you I got. Know. Show them what you're made well, I of. I actually got this hat in Dallas. And it has my initials on it. Wait, that's cute. Aww. Did BB you for big boobies? <laughs> hey, I'm a little bit country. I don't I'm know. A little the bit rock and roll. Rock and roll. Yeah. Can we all say one thing we like about each other? Why did you move to LA? Uh, to be famous and rich. Why nice. <laughs> <laughs> At least she's honest. Yeah. I guess the same thing. You guys ever see that Ellen DeGeneres um, episode, or it was like an interview, and she was like, "Oh, like, why did you want to do what you wanted to do?" And Ellen was so serious. She's like, "I dead ass just wanted to be famous and rich," <laughs> and then everyone got really quiet, and she was like, "I'm being serious." And we're like, <laughs> "We have so many stories, or like you guys do, but or we all do, but we're always like blacked out together. So how can we remember, remember those bl- stories? I, I remember everything. So Brett, give us some fucking crazy stories that we've done. You know, Wait, I yeah. Brett saw my asshole this weekend. Yeah. We already talked about that? I think so we lucky. Do. No. Dude, everybody saw your What the before. fuck? Bro, you didn't stop dancing. <laughs> we lost dancing. We lost, we lost dancing. dancing. <laughs> you just didn't stop dancing. <laughs> you owned it. What, like, okay, when you rip your pants, you can either, like, go into a fucking When I ripped No, you have to like, go home and get changed. I thought or that you I own lost it. everybody exactly. on my side. My pants. But I went and blew it. Why do you think they are so private? What are you talking wait, about? Wait, 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 wait. Hard hitting question. Imagine Alyssa and Danielle rehab together running around. No, let me out. <laughs> Do you know that rehab's like not fun? <laughs> Danielle's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, they don't give you like alcohol. Like, they're you just, can't do like, they're just playing, playing, they're, like not fun. They're just playing Connect Four together. <laughs> Next. <laughs> you won. <laughs> Danielle with Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> let me <Okay>. out. <laughs> let me out. Dude, it'd be like one flew over the kitchen. Daddy, it's yeah. daddy. Daddy, I won't do it again. Daddy. <laughs> daddy. Daddy. Daddy, I won't do it again. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I have to pee. Go pee. Go pee. We're filming. We're filming. <laughs>
Can keep you have, that in. Can you keep show some in. respect? Dude, he always <laughs> burps in my face. And then I, oh, there was like one episode he burped in my face three times in a row. And I look at him and I'm like, bro, you got to stop burping in my face. And, he's like, <laughs> and he projectile vomits. And he goes, like, that's fine. He goes, I didn't burp in your face once. So then we made like a montage of him just burping in my face. Yo, did you see David's, sorry, David's TikTok or Instagram story of uh, Jonah and Ilya like kissing? Oh my God. And they God. kissed like really passionately at the wedding. And then Jonah ran outside and started projectile vomiting at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Dude, I finally just bonded with David, like, actually, like, the last couple weeks. And really? I've been friends with him for years. Just now? Yeah. Dude, we've been going to his house for years. I know, but, like, just, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, we've never actually sat down and had, a, had a, like, a real conversation. Like, made out or anything? Oh, yeah, no. We've banged so many oh, yeah. times. <laughs> no. No, but we've never really, like, talked. And we've never been like, oh, my That's God. That's nice. What did you guys talk about? I don't remember. April foreign? I don't know. I was drunk. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> no, it is, it is funny how, I like, fucking love him, though. I was always like, oh, David's kind of, like, but he's, like. No, he's. Great. Yeah, he's I love him. He's it, the best. It is funny though how like our friend group is so big <laughs> so that like you can hang out with someone like once a week for a year and then you're like I don't really know them and then you have like one heart to heart and you're like now I really know you and it like <laughs> feels so good like I feel like we knew each other for two and a half years before for we so ever long, like, used to come to like the girls' room house all the time. Oh my god. Todd and I went to the gay party that you guys threw. Oh, that was supposed to be my birthday party. I never went. <laughs> that was my birthday party oh, slash yeah, the gay party, go, yeah. and it, I never went. We were I playing. Was, Tyler I was in a toxic relationship. That was, like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, I was. Uh, I remember that day. I was super hungover and I took mushrooms. I yeah. showed up when everyone left and everyone was really mad. Chantel and Cindy threw me that party. No way. It was my birthday party. Are you still I, friends with them? I was no. <laughs> what happened? Cindy, I know that we'll be friends with eventually because she's just young and naive. And I feel like, fuck it. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like Cindy is, no, I love Cindy. I, I think she's the most creative person I've ever met. I I would literally, I'll still vouch for her. No, she is like, Cindy's a special she person. I, I text her all the time. I'm like, please respond. She's Hello. like, she's going through her own stuff, but. But she is like one of the most like talented, creative people I've ever met. She's one of the most creative people I've ever met. I love her. You know, it's like Cindy is like a main reason that I'm, friends with everybody too you were yeah. coming to the house for so long and you brought charlotte yeah yeah I mean, cindy and i were like best friends yeah because like i met her and noah all of them like and became really good friends with them and then that's how i met hollywood elite that's how i met um <laughs> that todd that and like the whole vlog squad and i was coming to their house all the time <laughs> that was that house was really fun it yeah. was a good it was lit it was probably the most fun but also the worst summer i've ever had in my life <laughs> no because like i went through the breakup I went through like one of the worst breakups of my life that summer, but then I was in like this group of all these girls and they were all so like fun and talented and creative and we all made videos and it was fun. But I think one of the worst breakups ever probably. <laughs> in life. <laughs> Everyone in the world, like world the worst breakup like, of, top 10. of all time. <laughs> in the world. Yeah. No, but look at you now. You're don't, on this podcast. Don't say it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> who would have thought? Not me. And look where it, <laughs> look where it got gotcha. you. Aw. <laughs> if you could tell your 19 year old self one thing, what would it be? No, I'd probably be like, don't focus on boys as much. Um, boys. Start acting classes and believe in yourself. To be honest. That's nice. Yeah. I think 19 year old Alyssa would appreciate that. Because when you first move here, you're not sure. You're like kind of like trying to find your friends. You're making vines. Making vines. Yeah. I know how it is. You know what it is. Yeah, how it is. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah. Eyes, ah, you're being crazy and, you know, you get caught up. Yeah. Marie, what about you? What do I tell my... 19-year-old <laughs> self. 19-year-old <laughs> self. Um, Keep those silver glasses forever. I guess I would... I, I, I feel like I would have more advice for my high school self. So, I don't know, 19, I feel like it's past that. But I would say, like, to anybody in high school or anything, I like... Those people don't matter. Like any like anything that happens, like if you're getting bullied or if like bad shit's happening, like that stuff doesn't matter. You're gonna get out and those people are gonna do their own thing and you're gonna find your real friends. Like college was like a really good experience for me. Just because I felt like you can you could be free to be yourself and you can find like where you belong and you're not like being stepped on. And by then your real friends will bully you. Yeah, and then life. yeah, yeah, and your real friends will just talk shit about you. And the then it builds character. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if they you bully you, they really like you if they bully you. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Once you get older, if they bully you, that means they love you. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of that fucking twisted, huh? 
Yeah. Fuck normal. the high school bullies, but adult bullies are great. But adult bullies, like when you find your <laughs> real friends bullies? in college, are real mean to you. Yeah. But they, <laughs> you're going to love them. That means they love you. Yeah. Find friends who talk shit to your face, but say nice things about you to everybody else. That's yeah, true. That has, I've learned, like, oh, especially being in this industry, like, yes men are very real. So and I was goes. very surrounded by them. I could literally go and, like, murder a small family of, like, five, and they'd be like, yeah, no, that's funny. Did you get on video? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm <be> like, <laughs> What? And then Maria be like, "Hey, maybe <laughs> let's not. Do maybe that. let's not do that." Yeah, I was like, like oh. "Shit on video." <laughs> well, we usually film these at like two p.m. It's late. What time? We're is hungry. It? It's late. We're hungry. We're gonna go get some. We're gonna go get some drinks Almost and some nine. hibachi. Oh shit! My bad. Did I keep you guys on longer? No, 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 no we no, love fine. Yeah. It's great. You We've guys, been trying to have you guys on for a long time, and you guys are actually like our best friends. So it's fun when we can have like second or third, actually, second or third, like best friends though. So. Oh, that's like, second tier. I know, like. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, just like right just want to clarify all that. Best <laughs> all best friends are equal. What? Do you want to get food? I want to go get Should we go to Benihana? Go? I'm down to go to Benihana. I mean, we have to. You don't want to go to Benihana. Where would you like to go? You know who the food we figure it's out. Your He's like Natalie's bottle. Like <laughs> Natalie's <decisions>. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie's bottle <laughs> is spread open right now waiting for me. Hey, <laughs> hey yo. Ew. Ew. Not like my bottle the other day. Oh my God, Brett. Did you fart? Now you know how it burns. Close your asshole. <laughs> Ew. Well, thank you, thank you, girls, for coming on the podcast. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having, having me. Us. This Where has been we? the Good Boys Podcast, and the with good Alyssa Butler and, and Maria Roush. And Mar- <laughs> Everyone's be like, "Who's Alyssa Butler?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa Purple and Maria Roush. I'm saying. in the ma- uh, Maria Rash. Rash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, oh, Maria Monkeypox. Ew. 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 No, 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 Guys, no. what the fuck? Did people call you Maria Rash in high school? <laughs> no, never. Uh, now they're gonna oh, start. No, now, now it's my new name. They're gonna call you like kids you haven't talked to. Like, hey, Maria. What's your middle oh, name, sure. man? Rose. Rash. <laughs> Maria Rose. Ra- Maria Road Rash. <laughs> oh, Rosie Rash. Maria. Just like I said, if you find bullies later in your life, they're your real friends. <laughs> well, seriously, thank you, girls, for coming on. <laughs> yeah, I we love you. I love, you, love guys. you guys. This has been the good boys. Fucker. Thank out. you for having Woo. us. Woo. 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 Let's get drunk, bitches. Cue the music. 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 Keep rolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit.